Well, when I kind of look at it right now, it kind of looks like a rival takedown had a child with a rival Persis. Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. What we got over here is actually something very interesting. This thing over here, it might look like a nerf takedown, but it is actually not. Yes, this is one of those copied imported blaster again, but this is a very interesting one. This blaster is as interesting as those who leave comment in the comment section where I'm going to pick a couple of you guys for a shout out this Saturday. For today's shout out, we got Lamino Racing, Cream Dark, and PV86. Thank you guys for always supporting this channel. So if you guys wanted a chance for a shout out, do remember to flood the comment section because I will be picking a couple of you guys for every Saturday shout out. And seriously guys, while you are at it, do remember to smash the like button because it will help the channel a lot. And do remember to click the subscribe button as well because I will be posting videos every Saturday. Hey, ring the notification vision bell button just like how mac potato for always ringing my doorbell and hooking me up with one of these mac potato is a local malaysia online foam dot blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dot blaster so if you guys are interested to get yourself one of these feel free to visit mac potato website and if you wanted to know more about new blaster release mac potato started a discord server all the link will be provided in the description down below In the box, we got the blaster itself, 50 rubber balls, safety goggle, and a manual. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. As you can see, the silhouette of the blaster definitely looks like a takedown. I mean, it looks exactly like a takedown. Just that there is one major difference, the ammunition. The original Nerf takedown uses one of these uh, Nerf rival rounds, which is some sort of a uh, foam ball of some sort. For this version, on the other hand, it actually uses one of those newer Nerf rounds. I mean, these tiny rubber balls that you usually find in newer Nerf rival blaster these days. Well, I don't really have one of those blasters for comparison but these rubber balls definitely looks like one of those rival 2.0 rounds. Let us talk about the build quality of this blaster. When you hold the blaster in hand, I would say nothing too special. It, it actually feels like a nerf takedown to be honest. I mean the materials that is being used to build this blaster definitely is not one of those toy level plastic. I mean the plastic quality is actually kind of good. And I would say it is quite solid as well. The grip of the blaster is comfortable. The trigger pull is nice. In fact, it comes with one of these oversized trigger, which is pretty comfortable to pull. The pump grip of the blaster is comfortable to hold as well. Pumping this blaster is actually pretty comfortable. And it shoots hard, seriously. Unlike the original takedown, this blaster over here is actually hopper fed. And the lid over here also doubles as a rear iron sight. And of course, we got a front iron sight over here for your rear iron sight to align with. Unlike the takedown, you can actually put in a lot of rounds in this blaster. The blaster itself comes with 50 rounds. After pouring in everything, there is still a lot of empty space. So I'm pretty sure that you can definitely load in a hundred rounds or more in this blaster. Well, when I kind of look at it right now, it kind of looks like a rival takedown had a child with a rival Persis. I mean, guys, seriously, speaking of similarity, the blaster actually comes with rival Picatinny rails over here, which is, I would say, a good and a bad thing. If you have a lot of those uh, rival attachment, you can actually use it on the blaster. Unfortunately, I do not have one of those. The bad news is, I don't think you can use any accessories that is meant for Picatinny rails. Yeah, I don't think you can use it. It is pretty loose. Other than that, the blaster also comes with safety switch, pretty rare for imported blaster. As you can see, the safety switch is located at the right hand side of the blaster on top of the trigger. You just have to push the switch forward and it will lock the trigger. Push it backwards and you can engage the trigger. At the left hand side of the blaster, we got a unjamming lever over here which double as a prime indicator. Basically, when your blaster is not primed, the mini lever will situate it at the bottom position. After priming the blaster, the lever will move upwards. And after priming the blaster, you will not be able to prime the handle again. Let's say you encounter a jam in this situation. What you gotta do is just pull the lever downwards and you can free the priming handle to fix whatever jam that you are facing. The weight distribution of this blaster is actually kind of suitable for blaster spinning if you are into that kind of thing. Overall, I would say that this is a very straightforward blaster. So I guess without further ado, let us go test the blaster out.
Okay, okay, we are back guys. So the performance of the Blaster is actually not bad. In fact, I would say that this is a rival kind of performance. The Blaster can actually fire from 82 FPS all the way to 86 FPS. See? Rival performance. Given that this Blaster uses one of those rubber balls, the accuracy of the Blaster is not bad as well. In 7 meters, hitting a target is not an issue. Operating this Blaster so far, I did not encounter any jams yet, which is a good thing. Therefore, I don't really have any chance to use the unjamming lever over here. The Blaster looks pretty cute on the wall. I would say that it barely passes the wall test because it looks kind of toyish, which is a good thing because it is safe to use in public. So far, I'm having a lot of fun with this blaster so far i guess that's it if you guys like this video do remember to smash the like button because it will help the channel a lot and don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell as well because i will be posting video every saturday and don't forget to flood the comment section because i will be picking a couple of you guys for a saturday shout out so i guess that's it gordon's checking out and i'm gonna see you in the next video adios guys <laughs>